Welcome to Beyblade World by Zanki. My show starts right now. So today for our Beyblade show, we got some exciting news because this video is called the Beyblade Burst. B35 Storm Spriggan Knuckle Unit Unboxing slash review slash giveaway. This giveaway expires on May 15th, 2016. So our prize will be this Spriggan for first and second. What you have to do is type in the comments what you like about the video and like about the bait itself. So I mean, there's the front of the box, there's the side, you know, just as part by part. And you can just see, you know, how it shows like the new dual layer and stuff like that. And of course now, here we got the back. So yeah, let me just explain the back of the box. So on the back it shows a layer disc and driver, you know, Spriggan, Storm Spriggan S2, Storm Spriggan, that's why. Uh, for our disc we got Knuckles and then after we got the unit driver. And we're just going to do a quick small comparison between the new box that we have right here and the old Spriggan box. This is rather just going to be a really quick comparison between the two. So of course we got the new Spriggan box and we got the old one. So the old one has more plastic while the newer one just is mostly, you know, cardboard and stuff like that. You can just see. And you can even see that it's it's more like wider and more thicker and you can just see it's, and this one's a little bit more taller just by a bit and that really is it for differences anyways let's move on so now i'll be going part by part so we got the lair which is spriggan storm spriggan we got the disc which is knuckle i kind of like the design for all of these they're all new and awesome and we got unite you can kind of see the u shape it's upside down but yeah if you want to see the bottom parts for all these you know there you go i'm pretty sure this is rubber kind of reminds me of, I think it was Ray Stryker's tip in like the CS. It's kind of probably inspired in a way. It's pretty cool, nonetheless. And you can just see like the CS and the rubber tip. It's a little bit hard with the focus, but you can just see. Most of them are awesome, I just have to say. So anyways, um, let's just assemble the bay. Uh, cool thing about this is I'll actually show after the rest of the parts of the box. Oh, but here's it is fully assembled. Actually, I have a toolbar right here. There we go. There's the bay fully assembled. I'll show the other parts of the box after. But it looks, uh, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. The bay is there fully assembled, you can just see. And, you know, I got the other spring which I'm gonna go get and just do a quick comparison with it. So I have my other spring in right here. So, I mean, differences wise, this one's just a little bit more wider and like added stuff with like the blades. It's kind of like, actually I have another toolbar for this kind of comparison. So you can just see when it comes to differences, just the, this Spriggan right here, the new Spriggan, it's much more like with more blades, like a more improved version of this one in a way, basically. And of course, the bottoms of both of them, you can see, see, pretty cool. So now we're showing the other parts that are come with this box. So of course, you get the new light launcher. Looks pretty nice, kind of like the black and white design, black kind of grayish. There's the instructions, basically explains, you know, how to put the stickers properly, all the detail. Also, a cool thing, I, yeah, you can see right there, there's a certain amount of clicks you have to do. And I think, I don't, I think it's on the bottom. It's basically spinning, you have to make sure you wind it up properly. If you don't, it's the wrong way, and when you launch it, it's not going to be good. And I think it's very good, the instructions, because I don't think the original ever addressed that. Uh, stickers, we just used them, so, yeah. Uh, we got the box, and that's pretty much it, so let's move on to the test launch. So I got the Spriggan on this red launcher, so let's do the test launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. So... This is, now it's a balance type A, that's what it says. But the Unite acts like a CS performance diff. Like, it does have some balance qualities, but it's mostly attack. And it's kind of cool in a way, how they kind of get inspiration from like the original attack art, Tommy. I think it's more of an attack type. It may just be me, we'll have to see later when other people do competitive balance, such like that. But don't forget where our giveaway expires May 15th, 2015. Prize will be this bay for first and second. All you have to do is first off, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And type in the comments so what you like about this video or what you like about this awesome bay itself. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as so much as I did.